here and welcome back to another video. So today we're back here for another speed build and today we're going to go ahead and create this A-frame village. So if you'd like to go ahead and download this for yourself, it is up in the gallery now. My origin ID is real Thomas TV one and like normal I'll also go ahead and put a link in the description to the online gallery if you want to go ahead and download the build that way. So this like I said is an A-frame village and um, basically what that is it's kind of where I do this thing where I put multiple homes on one lot. Um, I've done this before, can't speak, before with a few different ideas. I've done, I think my most recent one was the Willow Creek Village. Um, so I, it, you know, Village I kind of think more of like, um, sort of like with a little shop and stuff like that um, and maybe some other like activities within the place. This is more just like a community area um, with just the houses in um, and I'm really happy how this turned out. I wasn't like really thinking of doing this idea to begin with. I just kind of wanted to do an A-frame house because I haven't done one of those yet, I don't think. Um, but then I kind of thought that this kind of village idea that I do, where I do these multiple home and one lot ideas, um, people seem to really like those. So I thought I'd kind of combine those two ideas together to do this. Um, and yes, yeah, so this build in total took me about two hours to do nearly, uh, which is a little bit on the longer side uh, for one of my, you know, normal build lengths, I suppose, but, uh, you know, just to have a few more components to it uh, than a regular house. Um, and I went for overall a fairly modern theme. Um, you know, there are some areas of the houses, which you may not think it is. I wasn't, you know, strictly sticking to modern, but just overall, it all tended to be a little bit more of an updated look, if not modern. Um, and yeah, so the other thing as well, not all the houses have glass roofs. Most of them do. Um, maybe, I think maybe two out of four have a glass roof, if I'm not mistaken. Um, some of them don't. And there's also a diagonal um, house as well, which made things a little bit difficult. I don't know why I do that to myself, but I did go ahead and put one on a diagonal as well, uh, which you would have seen in the back corner if you look on the thumbnail. So like normal, when I've done these kind of community lots with multiple homes on one lot, um, what I normally do is for the first home, I'll show you everything about it mostly. Um, and then for the other houses, I'll kind of do, you know, just put bits here and there in this people that, you know, may not be boring because if I'm doing four houses then you're gonna see like you know like four bathrooms or whatever like all the same things sometimes in some of the houses so if the things are gonna be repetitive you know between the houses then for some of them I might take it out the footage and um, but for the first one which is this the majority of the footage I do keep in so you can kind of see at least one of the houses in its full and then the rest of them I put in the most less boring parts I suppose and um, so I really wanted to include that little divider thing there I believe it's from Get Famous and I kind of just wanted to break it up a little bit with the kitchen area from the rest of that kind of living space there but I wasn't really too sure what to do with it but I really wanted to use it for some reason and um, so I ended up using it as an exterior sort of feature um, and it ended up being on all the houses actually and um, it's sort of like a I use it as more of like an, a shutter for the windows I guess you could call it sometimes as well for this house as well on that little bump out bit I did use it on the side of the walls there but for all the houses I think um, have it against the windows at least one of the windows um, and it's kind of lo looks like like a modern shutter sort of thing so I did that I thought it was just something a little bit different to switch things up um, and we're just working on the little living room area here now all the houses apart from one have uh, one bedroom and one bathroom um, the other one that didn't has two bedrooms and two bathrooms, I believe. Or was it two bedrooms and one bathroom? I can't exactly remember. <laughs> um, so I actually built this on a 50 by 40 lot. I did, first of all, try it on a 50 by 50, but I thought it was just a little bit too big. Now, I know there isn't much difference between a 50 by 40 and a 50 by 50, but it did end up making a difference, I thought. Um, it just ended up being on the 50 by 50, just a little bit too much space than what I needed. Um, and it kind of just all fit a bit nicer in this 50 by 40. Now this is actually built in the one in Newcrest. I believe we only have one um, 50 by 40 in lot, sorry, in game anyway. So this is where you're gonna have to put it. Um, and yeah, so we're just working on putting a little bit more decoration in this kind of uh, living area. I really love how that room turned out with having like the kitchen, having the dining room and the living room all in one area. I thought it looked really nice actually, um, because sometimes it looks a little bit too much, but I thought it was all really nicely decorated. So we're just working on that little hallway area. I mean, nothing too exciting about it. Um, but you can kind of see how there is sort of like a blue tint to this room and also the hallway area. Um, now the houses that have the glass roofs in do have that uh, problem because it's kind of like the glass roof um, sort of opens it up from being a full room and um, so it isn't fully enclosed um, and kind of closed off and um, the kind of glass roof makes it open if that makes sense so that's why there is that horrible blue tint which I hate <laughs> um, so it's just like the outdoor lighting inside and um, so you know the upstairs area most of the houses are a little bit odd but I've looked at a couple of A-frame house um, speed builds and I've noticed that most people have that issue so I'm not too worried about it actually 
So um, I was just using that little stool there from Jungle Adventure. I believe it is actually a seat, um, but it is a very, very small seat. So I do actually use it as a um, like a little table to put things on. Um, so I did that there. And then this is the, uh, I think this is the only bathroom in this house. Um, so it is fairly big actually. There was something else I was going to mention about the glass roof things. Oh, that was it. So, downstairs, to avoid that blue thing happening with that, uh, the lighting glitch, I did actually kind of close off the hallway area, like the entranceway, as you would have saw downstairs in this house, just so I didn't have the whole blue thing running throughout the whole of the house. Just kind of keep it, you know, restricted as much as possible, so it doesn't ruin the whole lighting in the house. So, for the exterior, in terms of the train paint, as you can see there, um, I did kind of, I wasn't really too sure what I was going to do with it, really. Um, and I ended up making it uh, actually paved with stone tiles. Um, I don't always do that, but I did do it for this build. Um, it just kind of seemed to work a little bit better, so I did that there. Um, and also, it, the kind of houses this uh, have like a similar shape to them, um, but I kind of did different sort of uh, colour swatches between them. So the first house we worked on was kind of a light blue greenish colour. They've also got that red one. We've kind of got like a creamy orangey colour and also a blue one too. So did that there. And then this little area where the green, well, sorry, the greenhouse, <laughs> the glass roof, I don't know how I got those two mixed up, where the glass roof ends, there's kind of a little bit of space there, uh, which is kind of closed off, so I make like a little garden area with that. Um, and I also decided to put a little kind of fountain area in there too. Um, that house also had a few more fountains on later on towards the end, uh, kind of outside the house. I don't know why, I just kind of thought of doing that. Uh, maybe it was kind of the bluish green that kind of made me think of water, so I kind of made that very water-centered, I suppose. The other thing as well is that most of the houses don't have a back yard area. Uh, the red one, which is this one actually, uh, well it's blue on the interior I think, but it's red on the outside. If I'm getting these mixed up I'm not too sure. I think this is the red exterior one, um, but that has a little backyard area with a pool and it also has a balcony area as well. And then the blue house, which is in the back of left hand corner, if you look at the lot from the front, um, that actually has a little backyard area, which you it doesn't have like a back door though. You have to go out the front and go around to the back. Um, and I just put like a few, you know, outdoor tables and gardening equipment out there and stuff. Um, so for the um, interior of this red one, I thought it might be a little bit too overkill if I went for red throughout the whole house because I did actually make a kind of red upstairs in the bedroom. Um, but, you know, to kind of not make it too overkill, I did go ahead and just incorporate a little bit of blue since it is a colour I don't do too often in terms of and um god I'm talking too fast in terms of um interiors uh, so I kind of pair those two together and I think red and blue kind of pair nicely together sometimes sometimes it can be a little bit too much depending on the shades of it but I think it kind of paired really nicely together here and it kind of I think it looks quite kind of modern as well so really happy how that turned out again with this house here it does sort of have that open plan thing with the main living area and um, that's just how most of the houses turned out anyway for their floor plan. Another thing I noticed was actually in other people's speed builds who had done A-frame houses and just generally what I've seen um, in terms of pictures and stuff is that the, like the roofs are very pointy at the top um, and I tried that and I didn't really think it looked that right so so the roof pieces um, in these houses here are not quite pitched as high uh, they do kind of have a little bit sort of more um, I'm, I'm literally doing hand gestures right here but you can't even see it I don't know how to describe it um, but basically it's just all I'm trying to say is that the roofs aren't as pointy so it's not like a actual A I guess you could call it it's sort of like a slightly deformed A I guess <laughs> with a little bit of curve to it <laughs> um, so I hope you don't mind that but it just kind of looked the best I thought and yeah, so we're just working on the upstairs of this red house here. Um, now, for most of the houses, what I did, I think apart from maybe one, no, I think I actually did it for all of them, is that I made the upstairs more of like a loft area, so the bedroom isn't kind of enclosed. It's all open plan on the upstairs, which I kind of liked. Um, and since they're all mostly one bedroom houses, I thought kind of having that loft idea worked kind of well with that. So this is a little patio area, well, the up, like balcony area, I suppose, for the red house that I was talking about, and also their little backyard area here too. Not really too much going on since the houses are pretty small. I did just manage to kind of put a little pool in there, and also a few other um, sort of items and things like a barbecue. I think I managed to put a planter box in as well, and there's also a barbecue. Yeah, I just said barbecue. <laughs> um, so we're just working on putting that in as well as a little bit of landscaping. Now the landscaping in today's build, I had a little bit of trouble with um, in terms of just not really too sure how to do it because a lot of the houses are very modern but when I kind of went for the modern feeling landscaping which I don't really know how to describe but it's basically just more simple I suppose that's kind of how you get modern from landscaping I suppose it just didn't really look right so 
I went for kind of like the lush sort of landscape you normally do, uh, but in some areas it looked a little bit too much of like an overkill. So where, if you look back from the thumbnail at the very start of the video, you would have kind of seen that little fountain that's in like the middle of the um, the lot. Now I did actually have plans surrounding that as well, but it kind of just seemed way too much. So you know there were some areas which I did have to go ahead and take that out a little bit, just to make things a little bit more simple, but also go in that lush sort of landscape that I always like to put in my build. So this right here is the blue house in the back left hand corner um, and I'll, this kind of floor plan turned out a little bit odd in terms of the, like the downstairs area here. There's also a downstairs bedroom in this build and also a downstairs bathroom too. Um, so with the kitchen it, there wasn't really any space to do like the back wall of a kitchen and um, so I kind of did it against the stairs here and kind of just made an island counter with the oven in the middle of the island counter which I don't always do because sometimes it can look weird seeing the back of the oven um, but I just went ahead and put a half wall behind the oven to kind and hide that back of it um, and I thought it kind of turned out really nicely so that's what I did there um, and I also used one of those divider things which kind of is the main inspiration behind most of how I did this build was that one item um, so I incorporated it here again on the interior um, and because I was going to try and do that in the first house as I was saying so I managed to get it in the interior as I was planning on to begin with um, so this is the downstairs bedroom here now you know with this build I since there's like so many different houses I didn't go for personalized rooms which I mean isn't something I do a lot I have been trying to go back into personalized rooms a little bit in terms of more clutter and kids rooms and stuff like that but for this build I'm kind of going back to how I normally do it with very neutral rooms uh, just to keep things easier for you since there's lots of things going on here um, and it's, I'm really interested to hear if you're going to actually use this build and how you're going to actually like work it because you know you can't actually have multiple families on one lot sort of thing but don't really have that functionality you can sort of make it up a little bit um, and improvise I suppose with kind of lock and doors here and there to kind of separate the houses off a little bit more um, but you know I hope I'll get that feature at some point but you know for now you kind of have to improvise I know I have done a lot of these community lots before well I keep saying community lots by community I mean kind of how it's like a, a community of houses um, so I've done these kind of mobile home on one lot builds before and I know that some people have used them so let me know if you kind of made it work um, if you do use it and also if you you ever use some of my builds for your own gameplay and um, I'd love to see pictures and stuff because I've had that where people have sent me pictures on Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that of their sims actually in my house um, and I feel that like that's really interesting to actually see as a creator so if you do that then feel free to send pictures and stuff because I'd love to see your sims in one of my houses that I built um, and yes yeah, so I think this is the last house that we're working on here this is the diagonal one and um, it wasn't actually too difficult the only really problem was when it came to do the kitchen which is always a problem on diagonals as you may know if you do diagonals diagonal builds before um, and yes yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this voiceover up here I really hope you enjoyed in the comment section down below let me know about what you thought of this build if you have any more suggestions for other builds or anything else you want to see on the channel next that'd be really helpful to hear and like I said at the beginning you can go ahead and download this lot from the gallery my origin ID is real Thomas TV one and I'll see you all next time bye